This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks and today we've got our hummingbirds all fired up and we're going to show you some networking possibilities that you could do with uh, the he new Helix series. The new Helix uh, 12, 10, 9 are Ethernet compatible. We've got our Ethernet hub actually in the dash. We've got a Ethernet cable from each unit to the Ethernet switch, the 5 port Ethernet switch. And what we're going to show you is sharing different technologies and what you can do. We've got a Helix 12 chirp down imaging version here at the console. And we've got a Helix 10 side imaging version on the bow. And what I'm going to do is show you how you can share the sonar technologies and some possibilities that you can do is if you want to set up for your network and sharing options. We can share GPS waypoints very easily, but some of the technology sharing, people are having some questions about it, and this video is going to show you some possibilities you can do. So let's jump in here and see what these hummingbirds will do. First thing we're going to do is hit our menu button twice. That'll get us to the master menu. We're on the far left hand side, and we need to go to that side. So if you hit the left arrow, it's going to come to the network menu. It's quicker than right clicking all the way over there. So we come down to the network source setup, and right now we see our Helix 12 Chirp DI and our Helix 10 DI in the network. I'm going to show you both the Helix 10 DI and the Helix 9 SI, what we can share with networking. We'll do the 10 first. Our advanced sonar is our 360, so we can go our advanced sonar, we can select it, and we will get the data from the 360 versus from the down imaging transducer. I'm going to leave that on here. We'll come back up. 360, we have it connected. We can watch 360 on the console unit. We can watch it on the bow unit because it's an Ethernet accessories. Temp 1, I'm choosing the temperature probe for my Helix 12 Chirp DI transducer. Helix, the Temp 2, we could come down here and we could select the, the DI. And the GPS, we're using the GPS out of this Helix 12 here. Now we'll run up to the front and I'll show you the 10 and then we'll put the 9 side imaging on and show you what you can transfer data back and forth. Now that we're up here at the front with our Helix 10 down imaging, uh, we've got our 2D sonar, we've got our mapping here, but what we're going to do is we want to get into the menu. We're going to come back over to network source setup and we're going to look here. 2D sonar is only the Helix 10 DI. Why isn't this the 12 showing? Because it's a chirp unit and this is a standard 2D sonar unit. So we cannot share the chirp 2D sonar to the Helix 10 because it's not the same compatible technology. Uh, that is one thing I wanted to show you up here. Our advanced menu, uh, we can sh do the 360 or we can use the, the Helix 12. Our 360 is connected. Our Temp 1 Pro, we have our Helix 10 selected there. Um, we're going to Temp 2. And Temp 3. And GPS, we're using the DI GPS. So basically that's what we can do. Now we come over here, we hit our power, we're going to turn our 360 pinging on and watch this. We're going to generate down imaging and 2D sonar from 360. We're sitting dead still here, but you can see the 360 and the 2D sonar is working. We'll go through some of the menus. Three sixty. Pull our talons up and what I can see is we're getting some crosstalk, and that crosstalk is because we've got 
the other unit on pinging the same frequency. We go back, we turn it off, we'll see a lot better. So I'm going to jump back and do that. Now you see the 360 pinging without the interference from the other units. I actually had an Onyx and a Helix 12 on, both transmitting 455 kilohertz frequencies. So we we're getting a little bit of crosstalk. If you see those lines, that's an easy way to clean it up. Now what I want to show you, though, there's our 2D sonar. But we're going to show you side imaging created from 360. Down here in the corner we can see the 360 icon. This is SI being created from our 360. We go back we can see down imaging being created. Okay now if you look here we've got the Helix 9 hooked up. This is a side imaging version and we're going to go to the same menu. Hit menu twice. Come over to network source setup. We see Helix 9 side imaging there. Come over to 2D sonar we still only see the 2D sonar of this unit because that is a chirp unit. If we were running non-chirp units like the 9 and a 10, we could share 2D sonar back and forth. Advanced sonar, we can do the DI from the chirp unit. We can see the DI from the chirp unit here coming up. Right there it is. That's actually transferring DI from the back unit to this unit using it. So we go back to our network, come back to source setup, advanced. We can also use the 360 uh, for our 2D and DI and side imaging. And 360, we've got it connected. Temp 1, we got to the Helix 9, Temp 2. We come down here. I like to select the other one because if something happened to this temp probe, we could get temp from this source. And we come to GPS. We can select either unit, this unit or the back unit. So, wanted to show you that stuff. Uh, we'll jump in here. And... Whoop. We'll ask for 360 to ping. We'll see 360 pinging here. I'm going to try to get to full screens here real quick. There's 2D. Here's our down imaging. is going to be created from our side imaging unit. Like our side imaging is being created here. I've got the speed a little hot, so... Slow the speed down a little bit help us pick up the detail. There's a tree there. Our down imaging. We'll come back. Here's down imaging. From our 2D, from our 360 being created, you can see the icon down on the bottom right left corner there. We've got our 360 creating our side imaging and now we have our full 360. Now it's going to take a little bit for 360 to kick in DI and SI because it's going to have to create that from the 360. If basically it stops the 360 from spinning around. It stops and holds them at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock and that's how it's creating the side imaging and the down imaging data on the Helix. Now let's go back to the console and we'll show you there. We're showing the 2D sonar here so we're going to jump in here to menu go to our network source setup. Our, this shows our status of everything. So our 2D sonar is coming from the Helix 12 Chirp DI. We're going to get our advanced sonar. We've got this one set up to create it from the Helix 12 Chirp DI. Our 360 is connected. Our Temp 1 is coming from the Helix 12 Chirp DI. And we can come down here and select our 9 SI for that. And we're using the sonar from the or the GPS from the Helix 12 Chirp DI. Let's jump out of here. We can see our 2D sonar. Here's our down imaging. Wow, look at all them fish down in there. Mmm, buddy. They are moving. It's going to be spawn. It's going to be on. It's getting close. 50 degrees. Now our 360 here is being shown. And you can see trees down there. This is being displayed from the 360 that is an Ethernet connection. You can watch it at the console. 
So we're going to go to view. Our down imaging. I'm going to try something here. Going to go to sonar. Ah, I know where. We go to menu. Come back to network source setup. Advance, we're going to do it for 360. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I found what I wanted to show you. 2D sonar from this unit. Down imaging being created. Down imaging being created from 360 right now we got our chart speed a little hot there we come over we hit side imaging being created from the 360 on our helix 12 we need to slow that puppy down to get our detail now look at that tree branch down there and look at them fish and Fishies and trees, good stuff down there. This is 360 down here, creating our side imaging on a Helix 12 Chirp down imaging unit. You could do the same with a 2D sonar or a DI only version to see this. And we go view one more time. Oh, look at that tree. Oh, we missed that. But we started our 360. It's going to take a little bit. Now we're going to start. look at that it's all here it's all networkable get in there play with it find out how to get more of your units and share more and do more with these new hummingbird helix and ethernet networking and share between stuff one of the things i really like is put a side imaging unit back here put a 2d sonar put you a 360 on and you're going to get all kinds of sonar available on all your units it's quick it's simple it's a hummingbird man i hope that helped you learn a lot more about the hummingbird helix and what all it can do with ethernet networking there's more than just sharing waypoints there is a plethora of sharing sonar technologies 2d down imaging side imaging 360 a combination of everything there are so many things that you can do it's going to be hard to wrap it up and put it in one little simple video for you but i hope that helped you learn get out there play with your units see what they can do and get more do more and ultimately catch more with hummingbird these are awesome units they're here so you can enjoy more time on the water catch more fish and enjoy those special moments with those great friends and family that you get to go fishing with every day I thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks, and I hope you come back next time as we explore more awesome features about these great units and the great products that I get to represent. Thank you, and tune in next time, and enjoy fishing. I think I'm going to get some rods out and see if I can catch some of those fish that I've seen on Down Imaging I was sharing with the Helix back here. Thank you, and talk to you later.